Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, deserialize uh, objects in .NET. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to be working with this JSON file. It's a very simple file, so I have three properties, color, make, and price. And I'm just going to go back to my uh, main method. What I'm going to do for now is since I have this data on a file, I have to get that file. So the first step is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call this variable path. And it's going to give me, uh, I'm going to copy and paste the path. So one option to do that is just uh, go to the file, just right click on the file. And there's an option that says copy full path. Okay, so you copy the path, you paste it. Just make sure that is inside the single quotes and make sure that you close it with a colon. After you have this variable, what you're going to do is you got to create a model. So that model is going to be related to my three properties that I have. So it's going to have color, make, and price. So I'm going to have one property that's going to be a string, another property that's going to be string as well, and I'm going to have an integer. So I'm going to scroll down. I already created that class. So I'm just going to show you what's the result. So I'm going to call that car model. That's going to be my, uh, basically my model that's going to have the color, the make, and the price. Uh, in a real world scenario, you may have to create a new file and you should have this class in a different file. So in this case, I'm just going to do it in the same, uh, just right here, okay? That's fine. The second step was that, so I created my class, so now I can pretty much map um, my properties, but I have to deserialize the object. So I'm just going to create a new variable. Okay, let's create the variable at the end. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to have JSON convert, and then I'm going to type dot deserialize object and I'm going to deserialize my car model. That's going to be my object, right? Perfect. And here I'm going to say file dot read all text read all text and then let me just move this and then I'm going to say okay this is my path so this is basically my uh, string that I have here for this text so I'm just gonna pass it here it's going to be my path and that's perfect so in order to be able to do this you have to um, you have to have this Newton that's JSON uh, you have to download this okay that's gonna be on the uh, nugget packages or whenever you start typing this it's gonna give you the option to pretty much import this okay so I am deserializing this so I'm just gonna put in a variable so I'm just gonna say bar I'm going to call this variable JSON. Okay, now it's uh, inside this variable. So I'm pretty much done with the whole deserialization. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to print what I need. So in this case, I'm going to print my color, for example. So I'm just going to console write line. And I'm going to say 
dollars. This is the color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my uh, JSON dot color. So I have my properties here in this uh, variable. Now I can access those. So I have color, make, and price. So this is one option that I'm going to uh, print. The second one, let's just print the make and the price. So I'm going to say uh, this is the price. So this is just another way to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to type zero, then comma, and then JSON, and then make. OK. And I also want to print my price. OK, let's just do it another way. I'm just going to say JSON dot price. Uh, so you could just print a message as well here. I'm just doing this in three different ways. So this is the price. Okay, so I'm gonna have my three variables here. So I got color, I got make, and I got price, which are the same properties that I have in my model. And these are the same properties that I have in my JSON file. Okay, perfect. So let's just go over this real quick. So what I'm going to uh, convert here, deserialize in this case, because I have a JSON object, and I want to deserialize it into a .NET object. So. I'm going to mention my car model, which is the one that I created here. And then I'm going to file, read all text, and then my path. So the path is the one that I have here. OK, perfect. So since this is a pretty easy, um, let's say, short file, I should be able to have my color, my make, and my price. So let's just go to, um, let's just execute this application. And I'm going to have my color blue, my price. Okay, there's, a, there's an error here. Uh, this should be uh, make. So color, make, and price. Let's just change that real quick. So this is the make and then you got the price and we're pretty much ready to go all right that's how you guys deserialize an object in a uh, .NET there's multiple ways to do it but I like this way I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video